In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with IPv4 and IPv6 addresses on Nginx, both separately and at the same time. So let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial. Okay, I have this Ubuntu server at these IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. Let's go ahead and log in there. So I'm going to do SSH root at this IP address right here. And whoops, there we go. And that's going to log us in. And what I did was I already installed Nginx. So let's look at our configuration file for that. So etc Nginx sites available. And I'm just using the default one here. Very simple. Turn back. We're listening on port 80, which is uh, just for IPv4 addresses. What we're going to do is do an IPv4 only setup first. Then we're going to do IPv4 and IPv6 together. And then we're just going to do IPv6 only at the end. So let's go ahead and do that. The domain name that I'm going to be working with is called TonyBoney.com. So I'm going to add it here for the server name and do www.TonyBoney.com. And everything else looks good here for an IPv4 only listen. So let's go ahead and save those changes. We'll do a system CTL restart Nginx. Now what we're going to have to do where we bought our domain name for me, it's Google domains go there and add an A record for that uh, IP address. So let's go ahead to the DNS settings for TonyBoney.com. And for the host name, it's just gonna be TonyBoney.com. The type is an A record and the IP address is going to be the IPv4 address. So we'll paste that in. We'll create a new record. This is gonna be www.TonyBoney.com, A record and the same IP address. So we will go ahead and save that. And let's uh, let's open up a guest window and see if that loads, see if our changes have taken effect. So let's go to TonyBoney.com. And it works. So there is the default Nginx landing page. Now let me open Chrome DevTools and I'll go into the network tab here and refresh the page. And you'll see that this is loading from that IPv4 address. Okay, so that's the same exact one that we've been using over port 80. Okay, so that looks good. It's IPv4 only. Let's go to the command line. We'll open up a local command line session on our computer. And what we're gonna do is just do a couple things. So we'll do a ping tonyboney.com just to further confirm that we are indeed seeing that IPv4 address. Uh, we can also do dig tonyboney.com and we're gonna look up the A record for, for that, which is what we just set. And that should come back with that IP address for A, which it does. And one more test, we'll do host-ta-tonyboney.com. And it says explicitly tonyboney.com has address of this, which is the IP address that we're working with. Now, what about IPv6? We haven't done anything with IPv6, so let's confirm that this domain name is not associated with an IPv6 address. So you can use the ping six command. Sometimes it's uh, ping dash six on some systems, but ping six, TonyBoney.com. And that's not going to give us anything because there is no IPv6 associated with that yet. Um, we're going to try to do dig TonyBoney.com, AAAA, AAA record 4A, quad A is um, what you need to set for IPv6 addresses. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Uh, we do not have anything associated with that. And last but not least, host dash t a a a a tonyboney.com same thing Tony Boney has no quad a records just to me just to make sure your computer your system that you're working off of is capable of ipv6 do a ping 6 google.com and you'll see that we are getting back ipv6 addresses from google so that means our system is capable of uh, that understanding what an ipv6 address is Okay, so now let's move on and shoot, we'll add IPv6 capability to our Nginx server. So back in our remote console window here, let's open up our sites available default file again or whatever uh, configuration file you're working with. And we're gonna add a listen directive here and it's gonna look something like this. Listen, space, uh, open square bracket, colon, colon, close square back at colon 80 and terminate that with a semicolon. That's all we really need for listening on the 
um, IPv6 on port 80. So we'll save that. We'll do a system CTL. You can either do a restart or a reload. Um, I'm going to try reload this time. I believe that is sufficient. Hit enter. And now what we have to do is go to Google Domains and add our quad A record. So let's click on manage custom records. We'll create a new record. It will be of type quad A. And let's go back in and grab our IPv6 address, which is this really long string here. And we'll set that like there. And then we'll create one more IPv6 uh, record type, which is quad A for www.tonyboney.com and we'll put the same IPv6 address in there. So those settings have been saved and applied. Let's see what happens when we go to Chrome DevTools and load the website. So remember before we're seeing it being served over IPv4. So let's refresh that and it's still being served over IPv4. So Let's see on the command line if we have any updates as far as the DNS records are concerned. So let's do same type of thing we did before. So we'll do ping 6 tonyboney.com see if we get back that. Not yet. So this is a situation where we might have to wait a little bit for the propagation to happen of the quad A record. So let's do that and I'll catch up with you when that finish. Okay, just a few minutes later, it seems like the DNS propagation has finished. So if we try ping 6 tonyboney.com We'll now see that we do get back an IPv6 address. We can go try the other ones to digtonyboney.com, A, 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 hit enter. Now we're seeing that the quad A record is associated with the IPv6 address. And finally, host t a a a a a a tonyboney.com, uh, yep, hit enter. And tonyboney.com has IPv6 address this. The one last test that we want to do is to come back into our web browser. If you remember before, uh, we were doing the IPv4 address, and if we refresh the page, it is now being served over the IPv6 address. The last thing I want to show you here is how to set up Nginx to be served over IPv6 only. And as you probably guessed, let's go into the default configuration file and simply move the IPv4 listen right here. We'll go ahead and save that do a system ctl reload nginx try that again system ctl reload nginx and then let's go over to our domain registrar we'll come into the manage custom resource records delete the a records for this domain name so that we're only left with quad a records and the ipv6 addresses and then finally we can go to our web browser and reload the page and and again we're going to see the ipv6 address if you want to learn more about ipv6 in general check out this video next thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one